and Henry Rollins of Black Flag appeared on a trilogy of spoken word records entitled The Voices of the Angels. Their poems and stories are packed with the boredom, disgust, and paranoia of, as they see it, dead-end suburban life, the kind of specifics a real live rock show often makes it hard to communicate. Okay. You, you, right there, just kick me in my mouth, so be careful, please. South Bay, what a gross place to live in. Are there any real people here at all? Have you ever been to 7-Eleven? Nothing but cellophane and youths humping the video games. 25 cent video youth. What culture? Go. Go, video youth. Here's a quarter, kill a queer. Here's a quarter, kill a nigger, kill a junkie. Kill, kill, kill! I can see them now, storming into Beverly Hills, armed with weapons. Michael Jackson and Eddie Van Halen at the controls, distributing quarters and barking out commands. This is a sick world we live in, that's for goddamn sure. Only Earth can come up with Philadelphia. The way I perform, I think I get my thing across. I mean, it's a very physical, an emotional performance with Black Flag, and uh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about with Black Flag. And it, you don't necessarily need to hear the words. I mean, I'm very much into hearing everyone hearing every word I say, because that's you know you don't sing for nothing. I sing for me to hear it and for you to hear it. But it, it's like to me, it's like a dog coming up to you and and whining or barking or something. You don't understand what the dog's saying, but you can catch the drift. <laughs> and I think. A lot of times with a faulty PA or uh, just the situation with live music, any live music, anything from Van Halen to X to Little Old Black Flag, you can't hear the vocals all that well. And this is a, the spoken word thing is a way to make it so direct. And that's what I really like. It's real direct. And it's real cool. I mean, I really, really enjoy doing it. Henry Rollins pro tips on what not to do with girls on the first date. One, you're not kissing your aunt or your granny. This is a human being. Wait at least one to two extra seconds before you say, good night, I had a really good time, maybe we can do this again sometime. You are supposed to put your tongue in and roll it around like you're an expert, which you will be on Monday morning when your friends ask you what happened. Two, always lie. What happened? What happened? I got attacked is what happened. That girl was all over me. I had to peel myself off to beat the milkman home. And your friends will all nod their heads in understanding, for they too pecked their date on the lips and made it home at 10.15, just like you. <laughs> there was this old bum named Crazy Paul. I've known him since I was about five. One morning I saw him in the park next to the pet shop on Wisconsin Avenue. His nose was broken, both eyes were beaten in, and his head was bandaged. He had a fresh cut on his arm, fresh cast on his arm, sorry. Some men had come in the night and beaten him. He saw me and he started to cry. He said, why did they do this to me? What did I do? I didn't know what to say to him. About a year later, I was sitting with him in the same park and he said to me, I wanted to be a dancer, but I could never scrape the shit off my boots. I've been writing ever since. 